This was gonna be a week video, and it's Tuesday. We're down a day, but I'm having a ton of trouble figuring out how to upload these videos to YouTube. In Final Cut Pro, the first time I exported the video yesterday, it cut it in half, so I don't know. I'm just having technical issues, so I got stuck on that yesterday. But I'm gonna pause on that for now. I'm gonna try and give like video editing one day, like its own dedicated day, because I think it will take that. And that way it doesn't ruin, not ruin the week, but just like throw my week off, because I do have a lot of work that I have to do right now. I have to finish the everything that was in the package that got lost, the wax pieces that are going to the caster. Just a brief rundown of like what the caster does. This is how most of my jewelry is made. I carve it out in wax and then I mail it to my casters in Birmingham. They make a cast of it in something called investment. And so they make a mold of the wax and then they put it in a kiln which melts the wax out and leaves a hollow impression of what the jewelry is and then they pour the metal of my choice so most all of my pieces are cast in either sterling silver or nine karat gold so i just put all my wax pieces in a little package and i write them a little note and say can you cast these in silver can you cast these in gold and then they call me and i pay they send it back in a really rough form and then that's where the fun starts. So I just got, where is it? Let me go get the package, one sec. I got the package today and it's really heavy. So it's got a, a few new pieces for this month's collection. And then the other ones, the one that got lost were for obviously the other pieces. I need to get those other ones made and put in the mail before I start on these. But I do wanna show you what they look like when they come back from the caster so we can open them together. Okay, so it's a really sunny day, so the lighting keeps going in and out, so bear with me, but this is that custom order. It's a three-piece set, a three-piece stacker, and it's gonna have a peach tourmaline. I don't know if you can see really well, but it's gonna have a peach tourmaline right there in the center. But it's got this really pretty, almost like wood texture, but really soft molten texture. So I'll be setting that later this week. I gotta cut the sprue off, so that middle piece in the center that's a sprue, so they attach that so that they can put all of these rings on what they call a tree. So they'll have this big giant tree of casted like wax carvings. And so that's where that sprue comes from. So I have to cut that off, sand, polish, set the stone. This is beautiful and I think I might even add it to the website as a made to order piece because this is a five millimeter stone i believe off the top of my head so i can remake it i think this is just such a gorgeous set and then to offer it in different types of stones as well so this is going to be earrings some turquoise earrings i love the texture it looks like an old coin and then these are also going to be turquoise earrings but again like the texture i love the molten sides and then this one is going to have a rhodolite garnet in it. This is gonna be a necklace. This is nine karat gold. And then it's gonna have this garnet on the inside. Last but not least is this dome ring. It's gonna have a full star setting. This is sterling silver as well. Super pretty, really soft texture. This one's gonna be really, really, really shiny when it's done. I will get back to wax carving and then later this week, we will set all of these stones and polish all of these rings. Okay, so it is Tuesday and we are running a bit behind on getting these wax pieces remade from the bag that got lost. Yesterday, after I went and got Isaac from school, my intention was to come back and keep carving, but our car broke down. It just put everything off for the day. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I want to finish all of these today. I want to be done with it so that I can get it in the mail. I have a repair to do which shouldn't take long and then after that I'm gonna get started on these wax casted pieces because they're sitting right here and they're staring at me and I'm so excited and it's hard to just 
not touch them because I want to clean them up so badly. So today we're gonna carve until our heart is content and that'll be it. So yeah, let's carve some wax. So these are the stones that we're working with today, a citron, and this one's gonna be in like a molten basket setting. And then I have an Australian pipe opal. It's got so many flecks of green. And then on the side, it's gonna have these two peach tourmalines, which are really pretty because there's like, there are little flecks of pink, which I think the tourmaline just really brings them out. And then I have this little piece of turquoise that I had a really molten band. So we're gonna remake that. I just finished the comfort band. It took me over an hour <laughs> to file this out. It's four millimeters wide and a comfort band, like a normal ring, has a flat inside. This one is curved, almost like a little hill. It's very subtle, but it is helpful for people that feel weird about their rings getting stuck. The contact on your finger is a smaller portion. I thought that was interesting. I had never heard of it until they requested it and then I had to do my research, but very interesting. Okay, so I'm starting this Australian pipe opal and it's gonna have the two peach tourmalines next to it. These are little sleeves that go on my mandrel so I can make the ring and spin it around. It is really hard to focus on everything that you have to do, like including videos into everything that I'm doing now. It's, it's tricky. I know it's super necessary, so obviously you gotta just do it, but it's like sometimes you just want to get stuff done and then you're like, camera, camera, camera. I know I'm gonna get used to it. It's gonna take some getting used to. Let's get started.
all done and it looks beautiful. Okay, it is currently 12.30 and I have been on the phone with Apple support all day long. I still need to finish two wax rings, the, the men's band. I don't know why I thought I remembered it being a four millimeter band, but it was supposed to be six. So I remade that ring off camera yesterday. There's still so much to do, but I have to get all of these technical things down. That took like three hours out of my morning. So I'm gonna make some coffee because I need it. And then we're gonna get started. So we're gonna make two more wax rings. I also found out yesterday that I had an order. The items got stolen out of it in customs and they still mailed her the package. So she got an empty package, an empty box, the card, everything. They still mailed it, but they took the jewelry that was inside. So that's fucked up. I have to remake those and um, an initial ring. I do have an Etsy, so I get orders on Etsy. I just don't promote it because they take a big cut from my sales. So I need to make that ring as well, and then we gotta make do the repair, and then we can set the stones for the collection. So, got a long list. We're gonna be working into the weekend because I need to get to setting the stones. That's why we need coffee. Ignore all the laundry in the background. <laughs> um, in England, a lot of their washing machines and dryers are in the kitchen. So I do my laundry in the kitchen. This is Odin. Bless you. Okay, so I switched to a wider lens so that you can see the table because this one was just too zoomed in. But that also means that you're gonna see like all the ugly stuff in the background, so just <laughs> ignore it. I needed extra lighting. I love this house, but the windows are so small, which you're probably thinking, bitch, you do not need extra lighting. This looks kind of blown out. I don't know, it looks really bright. I can try and get it out of the way once. I really wanna do like a little room tour and I wanna show you guys what I started with because what I started with was not this. I really, really treated myself when it came to this workbench. When I first started this, my workbench was a old TV stand that I got at a thrift store. It was a shitty TV stand too. Every time I picked it up, the sides would come off of the top. And it had like a little lip so that I could put a little vice a bench peg on it. And that's what I, I would sit crisscross applesauce on the floor and I would cut everything I needed to. I would solder on that desk, everything. And then I found that on Facebook Marketplace. I loved it. It was perfect. And then I used the little TV stand to solder. So that was my little solder station, and then this was where I did all the other work. It was just true, like, humble beginnings. So whenever I come in here sometimes, it just feels so surreal that, like, I get to have this. Let's get started working because a bitch is behind. Like, really behind. Yeah, I am. It is six o'clock and I just finished this citron ring. This one's gonna be cast in nine karat gold as well. I made it into a basket setting and it's so pretty. There was another item in that bag, but I'm thinking about not making it. Although it wouldn't take me that long. I think I might just do it. Okay, I'm gonna make one more ring and then I have to make um, an initial ring. The package that got stolen at customs and um, I will start remaking that as well so that I can print Royal Mail labels all in one go. I'm gonna give myself about 30 more minutes in here and then I'm gonna go eat dinner with my family. I'll probably come back in here even though I shouldn't tonight when Tom leaves for work. Okay, so it's Friday. I finished all the wax work last night at midnight. <laughs> it's all in a package waiting to be mailed. I just need to finish the initial ring, the stuff that got stolen by customs. Oh, I need to order some gold and silver for a pair of earrings. Once all of that's done, 
Then we're gonna repair this ring and then we can get started on the collection. But first I need to clean up this mess because there's wax everywhere. <laughs> So I keep all of my letters and numbers for stamping jewelry on the back of this uh, little tool. This is not a stamping tool. They make tools specifically for stamping jewelry, but they're really expensive. So I bought this Arbor Press and then Tom modified it for me so that it could hold the stamps. This bolt kept getting stuck and it also wouldn't hold the stamps well. So sometimes they would just fall out. And so I thought, you know, like, he would come up with some simple solution. All I said was, can you fix this? I can't get the bolt out. And then this is what he brought back. Let me show you. He drilled out the old bolt and welded on a new nut so that he could put this new screw in. It was super sweet and super clever, but it was just really funny and very much him. I don't know what else I could have expected other than him to break out the welder. <laughs> I have to separate these stamps because I have misstamped so many times by picking up the wrong one. soldering today and this pickle pot is just an acid that cleans the metal after you light it on fire so that it takes the like all the fire scale off it's just a mixture of vinegar and salt so that's gonna get hot If you're a jewelry maker or if you're gonna be a jewelry maker, I definitely recommend that you write down how you make your stuff. I remember Tom trying to tell me to do this when I first started and I just remember thinking like, I'm not gonna forget how I made it. I made it and I did. I forgot what length I cut things, what order I did things. It's nice because I can just flip through my designs and I know exactly what length to cut something when to stop rolling it, it's really nice. So I just used my roller to flatten out these pieces of gold. It makes them really, really hard and I have to turn these into hoops so I won't be able to bend them if I don't anneal them first. So you have to be really careful annealing gold fill because there's a really thick layer of gold bonded onto jeweler's brass and if you overheat it, you can bring that brass to the surface and then it will tarnish a lot quicker than it would have. jar. Ooh, uh, just a little bit. So I should be able to bend those a lot easier now.
hope you guys enjoyed this week with me. It was definitely held up by a lot of technical <laughs> issues, but I got a lot of stuff done and that's good. I will see you in the next video.